Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Stanley uh, and this is my channel, Stanley's Crochet Workshop. Before we start, uh, it would mean a lot to me if you can hit the subscribe button, hit uh, the like button and uh, give a comment on this video. Uh, I'm trying to hit 2,000 followers, uh, subscribers, sorry, by the 29th of November. So please help me out by drop, uh, hitting the subscribe button. So let's get into today's so Today's video. video is a monthly roundup. However, um, if you don't know, I didn't do the September roundup. One, because I was just too busy. Um, so I'm going to be doing the September roundup as well as... I didn't do the, no, this is the October one. So I'm doing the September one and the October one in this video. I am just going to say it here. I have been very unproductive in September and definitely in October as well. Uh, mainly due to, I was back at school in September. So I was just making, like, it still getting into the flow of school really. So I didn't do much crocheting. Uh, and in October, um, I went on holiday. At some the start of October, I was getting ready for holiday, so packing all my uh, all my bags and stuff. And then obviously uh, we come back on the twenty seventh, uh, so quite a big chunk of October. Um, and then I've just been relaxing really. I haven't done much uh, since we've got back. I've probably done two or three plushies. Um, and in September, I can't actually remember what I've done in September. I'm sure um, I made a few few different plushies but I was basically just in the flow of getting back to school um but I have not got a list but I have got a list if that makes sense um but yeah let's get in to uh plans for September slash so October. my first plan for September um was I did book in a market really last minute uh, only because I was still trying to get rid of stock. However, the weather was so, so, so hot um, that we both, or me and my mum, both decided that we were just going to call it off. One, because um, it wouldn't be very nice to stand out on a field in blistering heat. And two, the people wouldn't come out in that heat either. It was just too, too hot. Um, so we decided that we wasn't going to go and um, instead we was going to um, do a uh, one of my Facebook lives again but I'll talk about that uh, in a minute but I did make a few little final bits for that um, market uh, so I'll put that on the plans bit um, I know I didn't plan to do it but I did if that makes sense um, so I've just put that on as I did want to say um, so I probably made a few maybe 20 bits, I want to say, 20, and I did do a video of uh, market prep with me, but because I didn't actually go to the market, I couldn't post the video, um, but hopefully I can get to do a Christmas one of uh, a market vlog, as I do really uh, want to do one, as I do like watching them, uh, so that was my first plan for September, my second plan was um, to make sure I had everything ready for uh, my um, crochet workshop that I done. I uh, run a two day crochet workshop at my local yarn shop, all tangled up. Uh, they're an amazing yarn shop, but they also have like a social area on the front where you, if you if you're a crochet or knitter, uh, like someone like me, um, it's nice to go to there and like you have people around you that you can like socialize with and you like you know what you're talking about. If that makes sense. Uh, so, I had to uh, get everything ready for that, and every all of the money that I raised from that, I donated to St. Luke's Hospice. Uh, but I'll talk about the donating part at the end of the video, like I always do. But I had to um, weigh all the yarn, bag all the balls up. Um, so, I was getting ready for all of that, uh, doing just some last minute bits. Uh, I'm just reading off my semi list that I've got here. Um, right, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um, then, my next project was to finish Olaf, or, or at least start Olaf, uh, the teddy bear. So, I have finished him. I'm not going to get him down just yet. I'll get him down in the finishes. But if you can see, he's just up there. Um, but I will get him all down in uh, just 
just a minute. Um, but I did finish him. I wanted to finish him or Dumbo. Uh, Dumbo is nearly finished, um, but I can reveal that when he is finished. And then I'll be moving on to Minnie Mouse. Um, but they are them. There wasn't too much else to finish. I think that was it. Oh, the last thing that I wanted to finish was um, just some final Halloween bits as I wanted some ghosts and some bats. Uh, but if you watched my um, her website drop video, uh, the Halloween one, you would see that um, I have made all of that. But go over to that video and watch that one as it's a really, really good video. Uh, and you see me uh, packing all my orders as well in that video. Um Right, so that is all I plan to do in um, in September. Now let's move on to October. So, my plans for October was to get everything ready for the knitting and stitching show. Due to, I was invited onto the main stage uh, at 2 o'clock to do a QA and a uh, at the knitting and stitching show at Alexander Palace in London. Uh, so I just had to do a final few crochet bits. Um, and just pack all of that up. Uh, of course, I've done all that stuff. Uh, and that went really, really well. And then, obviously, in October, the 1st of October, I had to get everything ready for the actual website drop, which was on the 1st of October. Uh, and then I had to post everything out. And then also, i done a raffle on the 9th... Sorry, 10th of October. I started it on the 9th, finished on the 10th. Um, on a, uh, a ghost reef, I'll put it up here, um, and we raised, I think, £50, I want to say, let me just, I've got it here, yeah, £50 we raised for, um, for that, and that just went to Cancer Research, uh, to raise, to raise some money for Cancer, cancer Research. Uh, right, I don't think, no, that was it, except from... I grab it here my other thing that I wanted to do this was for when I went on holiday was to make the Rosina Plains gonk holiday uh, blanket uh, is it this way there it is uh, that was my other uh, task that I wanted to do it's not yet finished I'm putting a border on it that's the only thing that needs finishing um, and I did that in two weeks which was quite impressive I think for myself um, I was quite shocked that I'd done that in two weeks. Um, but yeah, that's really it for finishes. It has been quite a um, an unorganised two months. Uh, however, I'm going to start really knuckling down because I've got Christmas coming up. And I should have already been ready for Christmas, but I'm not. And I've got an event in 16 days. Um, so I do really need to start cracking on. I'm nearly finished for it. Um, I'm just doing some final last things. And product reveal. These, This is a new product that I've been working on. It's not yet finished. Uh, but it is a Christmas tree in a bauble. Um, how cute is that? So, but they are all products that I am working on. Uh, I've got some few new ones. Um, and I've got some ones that I'm bringing back from last year. Like these Santa uh, cup cozies. I've got snowmen cup cozies. And then also gingerbread uh, men cup cozies. So that's all of that stuff. I've got some newer bits over there. Um, and then I've got here, if you can see, all of this is full up of stuff that I need uh, or can use for, uh, for Christmas. So I am... Um, on on a go basically it's all all my time that i have uh, as i'm not at school yet i go back on if it's i feel like i know it's next monday don't know the date though uh so i go back at school on the 6th uh, of november um so it's been a nice break uh, and it gives me uh five days to do as much stock as i can because then on the 19th is when I have, oh, so I've got a little bit longer, but on the 19th I have my market, so I should really be done by the 17th. Um, and I have got some newer bits for Christmas as well, and some new plans. Um, someone uh, recommended this to me, I don't know the name, 
Uh, but what we're going to do is, if you looked on my community area, I asked you about... Um, so usually what I do is I change all my stock around. So I go from Christmas to summer, Christmas to summer. And it is a lot of work trying to get rid of every part of summer before I move on to Christmas. So what I'm going to be doing is I've got some brown paper here. Um, obviously, I'm going to cut that little bit off because it's all messed up. But what I'm going to be doing is wrapping loads of different four £3 uh, pr plushies. There we go. Um, and I'm going to be wrapping them up and then doing like a lucky dip. Um, but I've got loads of plushies that I'm going to be uh, putting with that. So that should be uh, something nice. Um, and it makes it a little bit... Uh, makes it a little bit different i'm either going to be using this or i have um some like christmas bags and i might use that instead but the only problem is it, they're quite see-through so you might know what's in um in the thing which i don't really don't really like but i might use that i'm still thinking about that idea um but yeah so that concludes everything in finishes no in uh plans for november no September on October, this is really confusing. Now let's move on to finishes. Right, so the first thing, I'm now moved on to my Facebook page on my computer so that I can see everything that I finished. Again, it's not a lot, um, this video is going to be quite boring as there's not a lot of things I've finished. Um, mainly because, as I said, I've been quite low um, on making stuff just because I've been so busy with other bits. Um, however, so, as I said, I've been making loads of different plushies for that event that I was supposed to do but didn't do and then sold on Facebook. Um, I think I made another £100 uh, on Facebook, so it has been uh, working out. I'm definitely going to be doing a Christmas one as well of them, um, as they've been going really, really good. Um, I was planning to do, um, for my Christmas markets... The one on the 19th of November is a one near me. It's called the Tilbury Cruise Terminal. Uh, and I'm going to be there on the 19th. And then on the 1st of December, I'm doing my school's uh, Christmas event. Obviously, I'm not going to say what my school is. Um, but I'm doing a Christmas market there. And I was supposed to be doing on the 2nd of December uh, a really, really big Christmas market down in Dorchester or Poundbury. Um, but unfortunately I've had to cancel because I can't physically make the stock in time. Um, but I've said that I might hopefully do it next year. Um, and I might start earlier. But I want that to be like a bigger, I don't want it to be like an empty stall. Because usually I have big stalls where I've been preparing. But because I'll have one on the first, I just can't physically do one on the first and second. Um... But I'm going to try and do next year's one as I do really want to do um, a market down in Poundbury as I haven't got to do one yet because the last one, last two I think actually, yeah the last two events that I've done down in Poundbury they've both been cancelled uh, which is unfortunate but I've still got to go down there as I have family down there which is nice. Um, but yeah, I do really want to do a event uh, down in Poundbury. So I'm thinking about doing the uh, the Christmas one down there next year. Um, but I'm hopefully not doing a lot of events this uh, year. Because uh, last year I've done so many and I've tired myself out. Um, and I don't want to do this that, uh, that this year. Because I had to take the whole of January off of crocheting. Just got it because... I've got so many orders, so many events, and I don't want to do that this year, so I'm just taking a down low, and I've only got two markets this year, and then the one that I'm doing on Facebook, so that's three markets, really, um, which is nice. So, uh, that's what I went on for a bit of a ramble then, but uh, let's see, what else have I finished? I'm just scrolling on my Facebook page now. I feel like that's it. Again, I've not made much. Um, yeah, that's that's it. So, um, yeah, it's quite... I haven't done loads, really. Uh, I know this video is going to be quite short. Uh, but I just thought 
I've got to do a monthly roundup. I can't not do it. Um, so yeah, now let's move on to whips. I completely forgot that I forgot to talk about some whips that I haven't, po uh, not whips, some finishes that I haven't yet posted about. Um, so I've just got them down. I've, luckily, I've still got them with me because I completely forgot. Right, so this is Olaf. Um, as I was talking about, he's so, so cute. He's the Nitty Critter um, Disney range uh, and he is, it took me a day to make him. Uh, so a little bit longer than my normal plushies. But if I grab one of my normal plushies, this is not yet finished. But look at the whoa! Look at the size, um, the size difference. It's double the size. I need to zoom out a little bit. There we go. It's double the size of a normal uh, nitty critter. So they are so so cute. Uh, right then we have this really really cute brontosaurus. So I did make the, uh, oh, let me get up, grab the other one as well. So I did grab the, not grab, I did make the purple one um, that you see on the YouTube video on its finish a whip with me. And there is a purple one of me making it. But I thought I would make this, uh, this one in the new uh, King Cole yarn. And this colour is amazing. But then I went on a bit of a Brontosaurus spree because I fell in love with it. So I made this uh, this one. The eyes, though, are really winding me up because I can't get them to sit in the right spot for this one. Um, but that's that's the other Brontosaurus that I, I, um, I made. So I made two Brontosauruses. And then, finally, when I was at the Knitting and Stitching show, uh, there was this stall that sold Nitty Critters. And I'm so annoyed... Because I cannot find this pattern anywhere else now. Um, I know the pattern now. But I can't find the kits if that makes sense. Uh, but it is this teddy bear. Obviously I've made so many of this te these teddy bears. But what's different about it. If we zoom in a little bit. I don't know if it can show. But it's using sparkly yarn. I think it's just come out in the, uh, in the, um, in the video there. Can you see it? It's very... I've got a ball of it here. So maybe it might... There we go. You can see it a little bit better. Uh, but I can't seem to find the pattern, uh, the, the kits anywhere. Um, so I can't tell you to go and grab your own one. But it is so, so, so cute. Um, and it's in this light blue. But yeah, so that is the other things that I forgot to talk about that I have made. Uh, now let's right, move on. So I'm actually really, really surprised. The only whip that I actually have on the go at the minute is this blanket. Other than that, I have finished everything except from all my other whips that I've got in the box. But from September and uh, October, that's the only whip that I have got. I do want to start um, lowering down on my whips as I want to get rid of that box full of whips over there because I need a box um, I need to start getting boxes back as I need as many as I can for markets but at the minute they've all fill up with um, all of my crochet rubbish that I don't really need so I need to start finishing some of my whips I have some things in there that just need one or two rows added onto it and then it's finished um, so I might start to do that or if there's anything that's got like one row started just pulling it back um, so, hopefully there should be a video on that. Um, but yeah, so that's really, it's a really short part for whips this month, which is good. Um, I don't like when I start going on about whips and everything, um, as it's not really good. I'm not proud to have whips. Uh, no one is. Um, but yeah, so now let's move on to, what section is now? Other, really. Anything else that I need to talk about. So, I want to start with... What do I want to start with? I'm going to start with the knitting and stitching. So just go in a little bit more depth. Um, so it was on. I'm not going to get this date wrong. Let me just pull it up. I want to say 6th of, uh, 6th of October. It was the... Yeah, 8th. Sorry. It's the 8th of October. Um, no, 7th. 7th, there we go, we got there in the end. It was the 7th of October, 
uh, and then at the knitting and stitching show Saturday, and they asked me to go on the main stage uh, and do a a Q and A sort of thing. However, uh, the night before they emailed me saying that uh, two boys from the group Boys So Two are running the knitting lounge, uh, knitting and crochet lounge, and they asked me, as I'm a boy that crochets and everything like that, to go along with the theme of the day. Uh, would I like to come in and host the knitting lounge, uh, knitting and crochet lounge with them? So of course I said yes, uh, and it was such a lovely day. I met so many crocheters, I taught so many crocheters. Um, so yeah, it was a really, really nice day. And I, I met with some of the boys so too, and they were so, so nice. Um, and I made loads of new friends. So that was the knitting and stitching show. Also, I attended the, um, what's it called? I'm just pulling it back up. My mind has gone so um, blank at the minute. I'm just pulling it back up. Oh, yeah. So, I went to the BBC Essex Make a Difference Award. I probably already talked about this, but I'm talking about it again because it happened in uh, October. Was it October or was it September? Yeah, it happened in September. Uh, the 21st of September, um, I got, um, so if you don't know, I got nominated for the BBC Essex Fundraiser Award, and uh, we went to an awards ceremony um, where there was four people in my category, uh, and then a judge, I don't know who my judge was, no, I don't know who my judge was, um, but I got, uh, the, it was a really nice ceremony, um, I where he got invited for dinner, we had dinner, and then um, they like opened the envelope, and then the uh, the winner was called out. And I oh, I can't believe it, but I was um, I was the winner for the fundraiser BBC Essex Award. Um, so I am so so uh, happy that I won the award. Uh, couldn't believe it. All the other people in my category were so so amazing. Uh, and they all did deserve uh, deserve an award. Um, but yeah, I never thought I would win it. Uh, but that... I feel like that covers everything. Oh, except from uh, St Luke's. So, when... I feel like this was back in August. I made uh, little sunflower badges for... Uh, to raise money for St Luke's Hospice. Um... And then I run the crochet workshop. And from then, we raised a whopping £422 just from the workshop. Um, which means in total, we raised £522 uh, for St Luke's Hospice. Uh, I really couldn't believe it. Um, uh, so yeah, but I went and donated that to them today. Uh, which was really really nice and um, and obviously I'm going to do uh, a bit more for them as well they were talking about um, doing some other bits uh, I'm not going to say what but they were talking to me about doing some other bits with them uh, which is so 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 nice um, so I feel like that covers everything in uh, in this uh, this uh, this uh, two months I obviously will come back with the November one. Hopefully, I would be able to show it a little bit more, uh, as hopefully I should have a little bit more to say. Um, but other than that, I will see you all in... Oh, wait, before I say... Uh, before I go, I just want to... I'm just going to check on how many uh, subscribers I have, just to announce it. When I just checked, I had... 1,564, I want to say. Oh, I don't, I can't see. It doesn't let me see. I'm just on my, I need to go on that account instead. Right, so I currently have 1,590, it's just loading. And 97. So we are so close to 1,600. Thank you so, so much to everyone who um, has subscribed. 
uh, we're so so close to 2,000 subscribers and that is my target to hit by the 29th of November so if you haven't subscribed already go uh, and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video bye